Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Elementalis. This is like a cool little 2D Zelda-like that I found, and I really like 2D Zelda-likes. Um, people probably know that if they've seen uh, Ocean's Heart on the channel. So I think we want to go ahead and try this out. I've had my eye on this for a little bit, and I saw that they had a demo, so let's go ahead and hop in here. Go ahead and get our mouse out of the way too. The Fire Temple. Not as bad as the Water Temple. What is the- is this our Navi? I guess this is our Navi. Okay, we can already pick up pots. We already got the Goron bracelets. Good, good. Don't have to worry about that. Do I have like a roll or something? Ooh. Hi. Okay, so we just hit that. Do we have a spin attack? No, nope, we don't have a spin attack. Okay, so we have the Goron bracelets. Can we... Do that? I'm just, I'm just acting like this is Zelda. Advice for the demo. You can push blocks moving towards them. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I screwed it. I, look everybody. Look at how bad I screwed it up. Um, okay, so I gotta exit the room and come back probably to get those to respawn the correct way. We could also go through that door up to the north there. We're gonna go do this again. So I did, I did a bad. So wait, how can we even do this? Cause I pushed it up and up and into the side and then up last time. That wasn't it. And I think that's the only option. I think we're going to come from the other way. Maybe I'm just stupid. It wouldn't be the first time. Believe me. Okay. Yeah. See, we come out this way. Yeah. We flip the switches. Yeah. These, these dumb switches. God, these switches. Uh, okay, so... It's probably... Eh? Eh? And eh. Ooh, that, that vibrating is real. Yeah, I'm guessing this is our, our Navi stand-in following us. Advice for the demo. Use your sword with J or X. Yeah, I, f I figured that out. Die, Keese. Out of here. Uh-uh. Go away. You guys aren't very aggressive, actually. I sort of feel bad about killing you now. Because <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't doing anything to me. You weren't really attacking me or anything. You were just chilling. Okay, we probably need something to create fire. So, like, this were Link's Awakening, it'd be, uh, what was it, magic power? But then, I think Link to the Past had the fire rod? Wasn't, wasn't it Link to the Past had the fire rod? It's been a bit. Advice for the demo. Open the map with enter or... yeah. Ooh, that's a very detailed map. I like that. So I wonder if the demo here is going to be the entire first floor or... what? Surprised by how quickly some of these enemies die. Found the map of the temple. Yeah. Ooh, that is a very detailed map. Okay. Okay, I'm down. Cool, cool, cool. This is, this is pretty cool so far. Pretty cool. I always like when indie games try to try to take on emulating some uh, big popular series like this. Ow. Can you not? Thank you. Oh god, I'm still on fire. Okay. These weird lava snails. Get out of here, Mag Cargo. This is the wrong LP. Ow. Well, Mag Cargo wasn't in that game, but Slugma was. Slugma was, damn it. One sec, I need this money. Thank you. Now, now I'll come back to killing you. Ooh, okay. Oh, you dropped the heart in the fire, though. Doesn't matter, I think we... Yeah, we can still grab stuff with our sword. Yeah. Always thought that was so funny. You're just like, yep, you just swipe it with your sword. Okay. Can't get up there right now. I need some Pegasus boots right about now. Uh, advice for the demo. Use the shield to protect yourself with- Oh, yeah, I haven't even tried the shield yet. Okay, so these fall when I go... Ooh! I tried to block it. Get of here. Weird. Uh, you look like the Dongos. But... I'm- I'm- I don't know, I'm probably wrong. My cat's sneezing. You good, friend? Sneezing up a storm over here. Okay. What's in here? Not anything that we can do right now. Whoops. 
Okay, there's that. Which leads there, which leads there. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the demo's probably this entire dungeon, right? Hey. No? You don't want to come down here? Okay. But yeah, uh, as we can see there, this this is a Kickstarter game, and uh, I might back this. I always want uh, new games like this, and uh, I should put my money where my mouth is and support them on Kickstarter if I uh, do like games like this. So, yeah. I've already supported... I think I've got like two Kickstarter campaigns going right now. We can, we can add a third one. Sure, we can add a third one. Hey, bat. Come here. Uh. Eat it. I called it a bat instead of a keese, but... Hey, that's not the official name in this game, so I can call them bats if I want to. Alright, so we got a small key. Which is just dandy. There's another treasure chest up here. But we need to flip the switches to get to that one. But... Maybe that's what uh, we do go by uh, going into this room. Break all these pots. You never know what could be under them. Could be a fairy. Alright, yeah, this room. I'm just gonna circumvent you guys, I think. I think that's probably the easier thing to do here. Oh god, okay. Okay, see, now that's a problem when you, uh, when you make a trail of lava like that and I can't get across. Therein lies an issue, so you're not going to live, sir. You are not. You are going to die, actually. Because you're going to make it problematic for me to actually get through this room, you little idiot. You, creature, just living in your ecosystem normally, and I've come here to disturb you. Okay, well, I knocked it into the lava. It's probably still living down there, right? I mean, they have lava coming out of their butts. I would imagine lava probably doesn't hurt them. Pots still hurt quite a bit. That's neat. This is, uh, okay. I thought it would stop me from falling down that hole, but this is, uh, inspired by 2D Zelda, so of course not. Bop. My heart, thank you. Uh-huh. Pots are your greatest weapon. Ow. Can you die, please? Die. There we go. Cool, cool. I should remember, though, that uh, sometimes rooms get cleared when you do uh, kill everything inside of them. Mm -hmm. So this is... This is the room we were in before, right? I just... Yeah. Okay, but we need to... do something. Let's go, let's go up and around here and see what's in this room. Might be something good. Or it's just gonna be a bunch of bats. I walked into the lava because I'm smart. How nice of these uh, things to come back up though. Uh, go away, please. Go away, please. All of you are very annoying. And I dislike you and your face. Okay, we're good. We're good. I wasn't worried. You were worried. Uh huh. Hello. I am here to loot all your treasures. We don't really have a reason for our character doing this, or even what this weird Kirby with no legs following me is. Okay, so that's a potion, I'm guessing? How do I... I don't even... Oh, inventory, LB. Okay, yeah, so we got clothes, apprentice sword, apprentice shield, we have a mana potion and two health potions. Health potions only heal one heart, I noticed. Wow, that is, uh, that is low. That is not a high amount of healing. Just wanted uh, to point that out. Can you die, please? Please? Here we go. Out of this house. Ooh. Thank you. Always do like collecting my, uh, my rat hearts. You know, good old rat hearts. You're not gonna get me, Keith. It's very dark in here. I keep wanting to press back to open the map. Okay, so everything gets lit up by those. So we can see where we're going here. Yes. Just dodge the fireballs. Nothing too crazy. 
Alright, but what's in here? Monsters? Anything wanna fight? Notice there's a bunch of locked doors and stuff, and I don't have a key. Uh, those look like we need to, like, light something. Uh, they look like torch sconces, yeah. Hmm. And you won't just open, right? No. So I probably need a key or something to do this. So this was not the correct way to go. Hmm. I'm getting lost. Already. Uh huh. You can jive the fireball. Okay, yeah, this is the only way we can go here. So this was pointless. I shouldn't have went here yet. Good to know, good to know. Okay, is there... Yeah, this is kind of a dead end too. All right, so I guess this is all we can explore over here for now. <clears throat> kind of keeping an eye out for cracks and walls too, but we don't have bombs yet, so I don't think anything's gonna come of my uh, looking out for those. I think we're good. Just keep on running. Just running, running, and running, running. Alright, so we're back over here. What have we not explored here? There's a door to the north here that we haven't explored. But that's... yeah, locked. Okay, I'm not sure what I would have to do to open that. I'm sure it's not kill everything in this room, because that seems like a tall order. What about across the way over here? I've never taken this platform across, right? This moving platform. Alright, get on. Man, this would be terrifying. Also, we'd probably be bur burning up to death because lava is very hot, so even being near it is enough to bake you. Okay, so this way we can go and it probably unlocks that way down there. So I just went the wrong way the other time is what I'm gathering from this. Just took the incorrect path. Uh, our knuckles? No, not our knuckles. Uh, whiz robes though, get out of here. Definitely not dealing with you. Bad whiz robe. Here, let me hit you with the pot. Uh. There we go. And it looks like if I kill all the enemies in here, something probably spawns. So what I'm guessing, those torches are suspicious to me. Or it just opens the doors. It could just open the doors. You want a pot? Uh. Yeah. That's a key. Alright. Yeah, I suppose we had to kill all the enemies to leave the room, so that one really wasn't a secret. Okay, so we got that. So I have a key, we could go over there, but there was also that other place across here. To the left that we did not go to. We're making our way through though. It's only 13 minutes and I feel like I'm about halfway through the dungeon maybe. We're making progress. Oh yeah, that's just this. Oh, so I came over here before. Yeah, and went in there, but I didn't actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, because you can get across that away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So can I get that? Can I go that way? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bother. We know there's a locked door up north, let's just go that way. I'm not gonna bother going back the way I came to see if I can access it from that way. It's probably just gonna be a dead end. Yeah, so I screwed up by not going in that room to the north when I came across here the first time. I didn't even remember coming across this thing. I didn't remember that at all. But it's fine, because now we have everything we need. We just have to walk across the giant spooky room full of uh, bats over lava, and we'll be good. Nothing scary about this at all. Anyone that would be scared by something like this is just a wimp. Like, just absolute wimp. Not even worth your time if you're scared at just trudging across rocks floating on lava. Alright. Almost back over there, we just gotta go through this town of rats. Ow. Thanks for your heart, though. Appreciate it. Alright. There goes my cat sneezing again. Are you good, dude? He's got a- he's got a vet appointment in, like, a day or two. So, I'm gonna tell him and be like... Jeez, he's sneezing a lot. 
I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna be like, look, my cat was having sneezing fits like crazy. Huh. Okay. This room is kind of spooky, but not as spooky as lava walking room. Okay, I've got a key, and I'm back. So what is in here? A mini boss. Uh, okay, that did nothing. Uh. Okay, can I hurt you now? I can. Get him, stab. Oh yeah, okay, so he's invincible when he's got fire. But, uh, once he, I, for lack of a better term, ejaculates all his fire, then, um, we can, uh, beat him up. There you go. You should stop shooting out your fire like that. You should stop doing that. That's how I'm hurting you, buddy. If you just didn't shoot this fire at me, that never hits me because it's incredibly easy to dodge and has a really long wind-up, you'd be doing a little bit better. I suppose I am stabbing you with a sword when you're made of rock, though, so maybe you're just trying to level the playing field here. Yeah? Okay, we're, we're not three-cycling you. That's for sure. I make it a flawless victory, though. Because you're not very dangerous. But we are not recycling you. Wow, seriously, one more hit. Oh, God. Okay, I think that's enough hearts. I think. Uh, advice for the demo. Use the elemental ability with K or right trigger. Okay, so we're gonna get the- Yeah, that makes sense. All of our abilities are just gonna be elemental abilities. That's why it's called Elementalis. You have attained the fire element. Use the... Uh, yeah? Okay, so now we can shoot, and we have a magic bar, so now we can shoot fire. Yeah, you want to show me that I can light torches. There you go. Thank you kindly. Alright, so where were there torches that we could do stuff? Uh, yeah, right out here, actually. It was right here. This was the room. Okay. Now we've got this. I like the idea that you actually just get to harness, like, a complete element. It's not like, oh, you have a rod that lets you use fire or something. It's like, no, you just can can shoot fire now. That's cool to me. And it makes me interested in what some of the other abilities may do. It kind of reminds me of, uh, Synergy in, uh, I think that's what it was called. In, um, Golden Sun. The idea that you just have an element and you can solve puzzles with it. It's neat. You die. I feel like you guys probably don't care if I hit you with fire, so I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, I thought these things were up. Did they just go down when I killed everything? Okay, well that lit that up. Do we get something for lighting all of these? I'm gonna do it, just in case. No. Oh, maybe if I'm fast enough. No, we'll... we'll nah, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it. Thought maybe if I was fast enough to have them all four lit at once, it would do something, but... Uh, I don't think it's worth uh, wasting my time, because it might not... Uh, nothing might come of it. I think the whole reason they're on a timer is that you need to have enough lit at any one time to actually make your way through the place. Hey, you come back here. Uh, boom. Okay, now where are we going? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Oops. Okay. There's a treasure chest up there. Okay, so I guess we're going back to the beginning for a reason now. Our newfound power must allow us to do something. Yeah, this place. I remember this place. Thanks for the hops. And goodbye, Mr. Rat. Out of here. Out of this house. This is my temple. Uh huh. So there wasn't anything we're missing there, but there was something we're missing right here. Which we probably needed to light these for. Oh, I just didn't see that last time. I just walked right past that, I did. I suppose that makes sense. That was a cleverly hidden little thing there. Wow. That was really clever. The lights are out, so you, of course you just walk forward. And uh, you never even realize there's a thing right there. Temple's boss key. Cool. Okay, we're missing like a few things. Hmm. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, that opens that. We still never got that treasure chest over there, which we needed to move the switches to do. I forgot where the switches were, though. I may just progress. I may just progress. Yeah, there, there were some switches. If we had turned those to a different uh, position, I think we could have uh, gotten that. You have attained a mana shard. Gather forward and increase- Ooh, okay. Not piece of heart, but mana of heart. Piece of mana. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we could go back and get that treasure chest, but that's quite a hike. So, I think we'll just- Since this is just the demo, if it was the real game, yeah, you bet your ass I'd be going back to get that treasure chest, but... Since this is just the demo, we'll avoid it for now. I wanna go see what the boss fight's like. What does a boss fight look like in this, besides the mini-boss that we just fought? But this one I'm gonna be using, uh... Oops. Well, I suppose we could go get it now. Question is, where were those- Yeah, it was right here. So we gotta find some way to... have that on the other setting and still get over there. Hmm. I mean, I see how to do it, but... Eh. It's it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Whoops. Don't take that again. Thank you. Let's just walk up this way. It's a candle. First I thought it was like a tree. Uh-huh. Oh, I was I was about to say, yeah, I thought that. Alright. Okay, so I imagine it can only hurt you. For a second, I thought that was the shadow of the thing following me. That shadow. And then I was like, wait, no, yeah, that is the boss. I'm gonna chop you up. No, you don't have anything. Look at you. You can't even keep up with me. You're a terrible excuse for a, uh, uh, wall master. Out of here. And die, candle. Gotta kill all these litwicks. Poor litwicks. I really like you, though. Oh, god. Your children spawned on top of me. That's a interesting strategy. Well, I lit you. Okay, but you're not lit anymore. Okay, now that you now that I killed your children, though, you're like, all right, I'll come back down. Seems like I do have to kill you all before it'll like stay down. Or no, it just it's at a different phase now, so it drops four times, and on the fourth one, you can actually hurt it, and it takes a little bit longer. Here we go. Out of this house. I am the wiener. Well, this was cool. I liked this quite a bit. Like I said, I'm a big fan of 2D Zelda in particular, so this really, really speaks to me, and I like it quite a bit, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this off here, because there's no more to play. Of course we're gonna go ahead and end it off. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put the uh, link to the demo description if you want to try it out yourself. But other than that, I'll see you next time.